back to the woods and good thing about today is it isn't ridiculously hot. It's only just supposed to be a high of mid 70s. Not that humid, that's my kind of weather. <laughs> so we're gonna head on back. Hi guys. There's my game cam, one of my game cameras. And I've been getting a lot of coyotes on here on that camera right there. It's I'm gonna have to do some coyote killing here pretty soon. Beautiful back here though. Just got back, got the stand, put some stuff away, ate a quick lunch, and now we're gonna put up this big game hunter stand. And this is the tree we're gonna do. This one right here. The stand is all up. So I'll show you a couple things on how it's kind of very basic on this. Um, very easy actually. So this uh, arm that goes, stabilizer arm that goes to the tree to here has a bunch of adjustments, it holes on it as you can see. And it just takes this little uh, pin that goes through it. And then you tie it around with this rope around the tree. And all that does is keep from let me stand back a little bit so you can see. <clears throat> so you can, doesn't pull or, you know, when you're climbing, it just gives some stability to it. And I put it on about halfway. Well, this is the middle section here to the ladder. So I put it on the one, two second step up from the middle section. So I think there's four steps. So is the second one. Stand back so you can kind of see it. Where it is on the ladder. Probably about f almost six feet up, five and a half, six feet up. And then we'll, we'll climb up there too to see what it looks like. But on the top part, let me get over here so you can see better on the back. There's two long straps. And I'll try to zoom in. And I'll show you up there where they hook in. Uh, they hook in and then you kind of crisscross them if you can see as they come behind the tree. And then they come around and they tie into your ladder. Now there's no clips or anything. You just got to tie it. There's nothing to, as you can see, what I did is I had enough. So I wrapped it around two steps, kind of to, you know, give it a little more tight and secure as I tighten it up. And then on the top, there's a ratchet strap. So we'll climb up there so you can see. But I'm going to put my harness on because I put my, if you can see up there, I put where, right on the top, there's a loop. I have my clip and everything for my safety harness to hook into. So this is my harness. I have a couple of these. I love these muddies. Now these muddies come in a bunch of different styles, but one thing you want to get is the metal clip-ins for around your leg. They are so much nicer. Let me try to do this one-handed, sorry. Uh, but if you can see, it clips right into here and you're locked in. It's so much easier than them loop throughs that a lot of them have. And then you just push here and it loosens much easier. Well, I am up here and the first thing I do is get my harness all checked in. And as you can see, try to do this. I have this all on and all hooked in. Then I can do what I want up here and not have to worry about, you know, falling or anything like that. But look at this view. It's definitely higher than my other stands. Like you, very noticeably too. My other ones were 15. This is supposed to be 18, but I think it's closer to about 17 and a half. Plenty high enough. Put a block out last night. Check that out. It's like quarter of the way eaten already. 
I have a game camera right there. See what we got on it. So if you can see right there, there's your uh, ratchet strap and it hooks in right here on this. There's a little tooth that uh, grips into the tree there and you have a hook on that side and you have a hook on that side. And if you can see also this strap right there, that is the ones that go across the back. That's where they hook in there as well. So that kind of just, you, you ratchet that right down to the tree. I will say this, once you do it and you climb up and down it a few times, ratchet it, hit it again and give it another click because what will happen is this will slide down a little as the legs kind of sink into the ground a little bit, which I'll show you what I do at the bottom to kind of help with that. I put two pieces of board down there underneath the first step because this will sink right down to the first step over time if you let it. All right, well, thanks for watching, y'all. Uh, um, I, so far, recommend the stand. I don't have anything bad to say about it yet. Again, I haven't hunted out of it yet or anything, but as far as putting it up, the sturdiness of it, the ease of putting it up and putting together, um, can't, can't complain. Excited for hunting season. <laughs> God bless y'all.